Hey, what's up? This video will go through the process of installing Python with Pygame and making it work with Sublime Text. But first, I will show you how to uninstall a previous installation. So, if you need to, go ahead and skip to the chapter you need. In my opinion, it is better to do a clean install so that there aren't any conflicts or confusion. Let's get to it. The first thing we'll need to do is uninstall. So, if we type in Python, you can barely see this up here. And there is an uninstall option, which we're going to click but my giant head is in the way. It brings up this window. We're going to click on Python and we're going to click uninstall. Yes, we want to uninstall. We're getting rid of it forever because we're going to a new version. This takes a little bit. Okay, it'll take a little bit and you should get this window. Uninstall was successful, but let's make sure because it can be sneaky. Um, we also have a Python launcher. Let's go ahead and uninstall that too. Yes, I want to install it. Yes, I want to un uninstall it. Boom, it's gone, right? It, or is it? So, go down to the search, type CMD, or you can push Windows R for run. You want to type in CMD. Here's our uh, command window. And you want to just type in Python. Does it work? It brings up the store. Nah, nah, nah. That, nah, we don't want that. Go away. So, Python is completely uninstalled. Or is it? So, while we're here, let's open up our environment variables. We type in environment variables. Because we need to check the path. Let's go ahead and handle that now. So, it'll have user variables for username. And then you want system variables. Go down to path and click edit. And make sure it doesn't say Python anywhere in these, because sometimes it can. It looks like we're good. So, let's go ahead and, as a last check, I'm going to go to my install location. Hey, look at that. There's still some files here. So, I'm going to just delete that. Yep. Python sneaky. Okay. And we're going to empty the recycle bin because it's never coming back. Or is it? So, we have successfully uninstalled Python. Good job. Now we're going to install Python, the updated version. What you want to do is go to python.org and then click on Downloads. And then this yellow button, click Download Python 3.10.7. Click on that, and it will download. All right, once it's finished downloading, you can just click on Open File. So you run the program, and before you click Install Now, what you want to do is make sure you click Add Python to Path. And also what I like to do is I like to customize the installation. Um, I don't like this default location. So what we're going to do, make sure everything's checked, Next. Um, install for all users. I like to do that. It's uh, optional. We want to make sure add Python to environment variables is checked. Absolutely. And for install location, what I like to do is I like to install it at the uh, base location and add the version. It's 3.10.7, so I'm adding a 7. Um, I find that sometimes if an install location has special characters or spaces, it can kind of do some funny stuff. So let's keep it nice and short and simple, okay? Then we will install. All right, now that it's installed, hey, what's this? Oh, this is new, disable path length limit. Hmm, I wonder if we should click that. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and click it because why should our path be limited? <laughs> Setup was successful. So, we're good to go, right? Let's check one more thing. Let's open up the uh, start menu and type in environment variables. Even though we click the box to add it to path, what I find is that sometimes the source of many of these problems is because of path problems. So, if we go down in here, we have our Python 3.10.7 and 3.10.7 scripts. That's good. Those are the only two you want. Check for any other Python installations or just path anything. There should only be 
these two folders for Python. Then we're going to OK out, OK out. Now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to type in CMD and this time we're going to run it as administrator. The reason why we need to run it as administrator is because uh, I believe pip needs administrative access. So the first thing we're going to do is type in Python. Hey, this looks pretty cool because it's showing our version. Then we're going to type exit and we're back at the prompt. The next thing we're going to do is install Pygame. So with our command prompt open, we're going to make sure that pip is installed and updated. It is typically installed up to date, but it's a good idea to check and make sure. Anytime you need to install a package, it's good to keep pip updated as well. So at this command prompt, we are going to type in python minus m pip install upgrade pip. And it says requirement already satisfied pip. And that's good. It means it's installed and up to date. Now all we need to do is we need to install Pygame. So we type in pip install Pygame. This is so easy, right? That's it. It's done. Pygame is installed. And in th as of this video, this is version 2.1.2. .2. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that it works, right? So we type in Python again. And then we type in import Pygame. And it says Pygame 2.1.2. So we're good to go. Easy stuff. The next thing we will do is make sure it works with Sublime Text. So uh, I'm not going to go through the process of telling you how to install Sublime Text. You just download it for Windows, go through that process, easy. We're going to open up Sublime Text. Okay, with Sublime Text open, what we're going to do is we are going to make a new file and save it. This is a very important. We're going to save as, it doesn't really matter the location. So I'm going to save it here as, uh, so let's go to SPI underscore one. And in this file, it's important to have a save file, otherwise Python will probably have a trouble finding it, and let alone running it. Next, in this file, we need to go to Tools, Build System, and make sure Python is checked. If not, we'll check it. So, now we need to test to make sure this works. Type in Import OS, and then you can either press Control B to build it, or you can press Tools, Build. And you should get this finished in however long it takes. It should be fast, right? Next what we're going to do is we're going to make sure it works with Pygame. So we're just going to type in import Pygame. Then all we got to do is build again and you should see Pygame and the version. That's it! You're done! How easy was that? So, however, if you do have any problems, try restarting your system, and if you haven't done a clean install, I highly recommend you restart the video and follow the uninstall instructions and remove all versions of Python. If you have problems that you didn't solve, please leave a comment, or even better, join my Discord and I can help you directly. I also have a Python tutorials and learning resources available for you. As payment for my services, all I ask, all I humbly ask, is that you press the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching.